You are either gonna get a lesson in math or a lesson in psychology, or maybe you already know how to properly assess the situation, but let's do some learning. This whole idea came from a comment that I got on YouTube, and while the concept isn't really new, I've talked about it before, it's one of those where you can really never beat this enough because it's so important and it's uh, very, very vital from a perspective point of view in terms of how are you viewing your trading? How are you viewing your results? And you need to have a very realistic perspective on things, and that's what this uh, comment is gonna lead into. Now, before we get to the comment, there's literally three categories of people out there that, you will, that, that everybody will fall into. One of the three. There, there's no gray area, very black and white, three categories. The first category, we'll just call it math help. Maybe you don't quite understand math, and that's fine. You know, not everybody is a, a mathematical genius, but that's gonna be one category of people. You just, hey, you need a little bit of help with the math. Two, greedy pig. Maybe you're just flat out a greedy pig. And maybe you don't understand and realize you're a greedy pig because you need some math help. So technically speaking, I guess you could have one foot in each camp. You're kind of just going back and forth. So uh, that would be the another category. And the third category is you get it. You're going to read this comment. You're going to say, well, and then you're just going to boom, 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 boom. And yeah, okay, fair enough. That's exactly the way you should be looking at it and understanding what this person is saying. So now let's get to the actual comment and be honest with yourself after I read it. What are you thinking? Are you, maybe you're agreeing with this person. Uh, maybe you kind of agree, but just you know, be aware. What are you thinking after I read the comment? If I was putting $10,000 in but making $500 a week, I would be an idiot. I'm not quite sure if that was supposed to be an insult at me or they're just making a comment in general. I, to be honest, I don't remember what video that came from. Um, so I don't know, maybe it was a, an intended insult, but regardless, what is this person saying? Well, if I had $10,000 and that's representing per week and I made $500, this all would mean idiot. That is what they're summarizing. But let's actually do a little math here. And I don't know exactly what's going on, but got my calculator. Who remembers the TI-83? An absolute classic. But anyways, so you have $10,000 and you're making 500 per week. So that is a 5% return. Did I really need a calculator for that? <sighs> anyways, anyways, I can already see it now. The comment section blowing up. Biggest idiot ever. So, regardless, I'm all flustered now. I can't even decide what color to use. So, here we go. This all equates to 5% per week on your money. And this is a, a, a true challenge. And I would, I've been tempted to do this, but I never have. Maybe sometime I'll work up the guts. But I'd love to do like, uh, you see on TV shows where they have the hidden cameras and they go in. I would love to see, so my challenge to you is if you're willing, do a hidden camera stunt where you walk into a bank, your local bank, and say, excuse me, I would like to get 5% return on my money every week. And, and the reaction would be priceless. They would probably stumble over their words because... Uh, uh, excuse me, sir, what did you say per week? 5%? And they, you would just blow their mind. 5% per week would blow the minds of your local bank. And you don't even have to record it. Just go and if, ask them. And I'd be curious what they would. And if you do ask, put in the comment section, what do they report back when you request, hey, I want to give you my money and I need 5% back on it per week? Trust me, they're going to look at you like you are a psychopath. And that is what this person is calling idiotic, 5% per week. But that's just really the get-go. How many weeks are there in a year? What is it, 52? So you multiply this by 52, and then you're gonna get some sort of yield. I don't know what that number is, but the point here being, if you're getting 5% per week, and keep in mind, this is not even, I'm not even talking about compounding interest. So let's just take compounding interest and throw it off to the side because it's already powerful enough without compounding interest. 
So 5% per week, per week, per week, week after week after week, that's, uh, that's a very nice yearly return on your money. So that's how the math works. 500 divided by 10 gives you 5% per week. You multiply that by 52, there's your yearly yield. And again, remember, none of this even factors in compounding interest. So maybe the person that thinks all this is idiotic, maybe they just, they, yeah, they, they, they just got their math lesson. All right, yeah, fair enough, and, and no big deal. Like I said, we're not all super you know, geniuses at math, not, this is, not that this is complicated, but maybe that was this thing. Maybe they're just a flat out greedy pig. How can you not be happy? What is five times 52? I should probably know how to do this. 260%. Again, no compounding interest. If somebody walks up to me or you and says, I only made 260% on my money last year, Harry. Well, Lloyd, that's okay. What movie characters am I talking about, by the way? Leave it in the comment section. Harry, I only made 260% on my money last year. What would you say to that person? You'd be... What? 260% and you're not happy? Greedy pig. No more needs to be said. Or maybe you're looking at this and you already understood all this and you're thinking, 5% per week, huh, there is no way I could ever get that at my local bank. There is no way I could ever get that in some bond or CD savings or you know, uh, just really anywhere. Where are you gonna get 5% per week? I'm big in real estate. Trust me, there is nothing in real estate that's gonna give you 5% per week. If there is, let me know down below because I would be interested. But as far as I'm aware, there's nothing that's gonna give you 5% per week. So maybe you are right here where you should be and you get it. So don't look at it as 5% per week on 10,000. Are you serious? This? Percentages add up. And I keep you know, bringing this up because it, you, in fact, you, you actually go and grab compounding interest and put it into play, absolute crazy and the numbers just get that much more asinine in a good way. So what category are you in? You have, no, you, you have no excuse now. You now understand the way you need to look at things and always keep things in perspective. Maybe there's a week, maybe there's a month, where you're just like, oh, that really wasn't that good. Look at the percentages and then extrapolate that out. Okay, well, that really actually wasn't as bad as what I thought it was because again, where else in the world are you gonna be able to get these sorts of percentages? You know, even if you put that down at 1% per week, 1% per week, 52 weeks, could you imagine somebody saying, I, I only got a 52% return on my account this past year. I am so, oh, I'm so not happy about a 52% return. Think about that. So, and that's at 1% per week. So look at it, understand the numbers, understand how yields work and then bring in compounding interest and your mind will be, okay, yeah, yeah. I was either just not quite understanding the math or I was just being a greedy pig savage and I needed to be slapped across the face. So look at things, approach the market the way it needs to be approached as take gains, take wins, stick to the system and let the system add up. You don't need to have monster scores. You don't need to have you know four digit, five digit trading wins. I realize that's really cool to post on social media and stuff like that, but in the long haul, let the numbers add up, let the percentages add up, let yields add up, and then really let compounding interest add up and uh, your account will be just fine. Shoot, all right, here we go. Crap, actually, am I still recording? All right. Welcome to the vlog. So I was supposed that was supposed to be a flawless transition and I totally forgot. Nate, it's vlog time, you can talk. What do you- I wanna talk. So now, that, uh, yeah, we could keep that in, that was good. That was just, whatever, I screwed up. That was supposed to be a good transition, it wasn't, but we are now done with uh, claytrader.com stuff. Now it's time to go take care of some real estate stuff, but in this situation, it is a good thing because I am going to get a check. And for you longtime followers of the vlog, uh, I don't know, a month, month and a half ago, did a video where I took you through a, a real estate eviction uh, video where you know we just went through and I offered Nate some Cheetos and uh, that's the one part my wife remembers she because I was telling her about this and she's like oh yeah is that the video where you guys found Cheetos and I was like yeah that, that was a video where we found Cheetos so that's what she remembered from that so if you watch that video we're now going to conclude this real estate journey 
And uh, you know, today, like I said, I'm gonna go to closing, sign the final papers, uh, get the check because I'm selling the house uh, via the, the owner financing, which I'll talk about a little bit here. But first, uh, I wanna kind of do a little rewinding and take you back through the remainder of the journey. Because last you saw was cleaning the, or the, we were taking back the house, went through it after the foreclosure had officially happened, and then the dumpsters were getting dropped off because there was a lot of stuff that needed to be cleaned. So from that point up until this point, let's fill in those gaps. If you are out there trading alone currently and maybe are in the market looking for a community to join to assist you in your trading or to just help you, you know, give you another set of eyeballs, then I do have a private trading community where you can trade alongside me and other experienced traders. So what you see popping up on the screen right now is both an information link. So if you click on the inner circle one, that is going to take you to the page where I explain all the details of what exactly come with the community, both the chat room and the newsletter. And then the other image that has popped up is a behind the scenes tour where you can see exactly what is going to you know, be contained within the community. I take you through, like I said, a behind the scenes tour of everything. And that way you'll know precisely what you are getting uh, you know, when you join. So definitely check that stuff out if you are interested and thinking about you know, wanting to join a community and let me know if you have any questions.